Hi, I am Veneta Carter. I am at N in Soho celebrating my upcoming collaboration with Timbaland. Well, hi everyone, and welcome to an evening with Vanita Carter. Hey. <laughs> I'm Navi, and I'll be your host this evening, chatting to Vanita about, obviously, her incredible Timberland collaboration. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, as well as her journey into the fashion industry and what inspires her. So let's get started. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here first and foremost, and thank you for coming. It means a lot to me. <laughs> so, Vanita, yes. tell me a little bit about what kind of led you to pursue styling as a career. Um, well, I was a model for uh, 14 years and, you know, naturally I was brought into like the fashion industry and I learned a lot of, um, in the years of modeling and uh, I only was kind of like recognized for my personal style. Um, but just through Instagram and people that knew me and, you know, they were like paying attention to like just the way I put looks together. But it was more of like a passion of mine. I never was like, oh, I'm going to pursue this as a career. Um, I think naturally, you know, because it's something I'm passionate about, like it, it just happened. Like, obviously, I was manifesting it a bit. Like I wanted to yeah. go this direction. And, you know, I was lucky enough to... Um, be headhunted by Kanye West um, in 2016, who uh, brought me to the Yeezy office and I met him and he definitely kind of started my career. Um, the first one who actually like, I think believed in me and gave me the opportunity to uh, express myself um, creatively and, you know, as a stylist. So that's kind of how my, my career started. And, you know, that led to working with Kim also and doing her wardrobe day to day. Um, so yeah, I think, and that's kind of how it all started. And, you know, I'm grateful to Kanye and for him to giving me the opportunity. And I think he is like a big reason for me to where, you know, the reason for where I am today. I mean, that's a pretty incredible start in the industry. It must have been yeah. amazing. Yeah, it was. It was pretty overwhelming. And especially someone like him recognizing your, uh, talent, you know, um, yeah, it's kind of still seems surreal. Also, you know, I'm from Copenhagen. It's a very small city and there's no endless opportunity there. There's like there is in America, for example, you know. So once you've done everything you can do within your field, it's like, all right, you know, there's nothing really you can do, you know. I think it's an unusual situation and I'm really, really grateful and I'm grateful that someone like him, you know, as a genius and, you know, I really appreciate his work and what he is so for being you know recognized for something like him it's like yeah it's so sick incredible yeah. <laughs> it's incredible so yeah. taking it back to your kind of personal style a little bit yeah um you're obviously very influenced by the 90s so what Correct. is it about that era that kind of appeals to you like what what kind of piqued your interest well, I grew up in the 90s I'm from 92 and grew up in the 90s early 2000s and I have an older brother and yeah, I mean, growing up with brothers, I think like naturally you become a tomboy and you look up to your brothers, right? So he was really into like hip hop, the music, like music, that whole culture, um, American, you know, music, like it was just a really big part of who he was. And, you know, I was looking up to him and, you know, naturally I become a part of that you know, with no social media and where I was like seeking inspiration was, you know, through music and movies and magazines and him introducing me to that world in an early age. I feel like that's what really like, you know, made me like, it was just like an eye opener and something that I was introduced to it in an early age. And, 
you know, him dressing up, you know, like I'm seeing like he really appreciated clothes made me also, wow, yeah, like, you know, that's sick. So I think, you know, growing up with him and being exposed to the music back then, you know, it's like really was what inspired me and what I also use in my work today like I'm really inspired by that time and you know it has a big influence on me so yeah yeah that makes sense I feel like we never really want to admit it but yeah. older siblings always have a really big oh, influence I always get credit to my brother like he's my best friend and he is like the illest you know like he he put me onto a lot of shit so I will forever you know be like thankful to him and like you know it's just yeah I don't know I love him <laughs> he's great and I think you know thanks to him I think it's a big part of like how I dress today you know yeah because if it wasn't for him I might have not been exposed to like the same you know music or energy or vibes or like you know so definitely yeah that makes sense so outside of your brother I guess and that kind of part uh -huh. of the industry who and what else would you say kind of influences your personal style? It's hard because I think there's so many aspects to this. Like there's not just one thing or one artist or one music genre that inspires me. I think, you know, all around me traveling in a very, you know, young age with modeling, like experiencing the whole world. Uh, I grew up in Copenhagen, but my family are Polish. Uh, so I grew up in a Polish, you know, family. I was raised Polish. Uh, I just basically Denmark was the place I was born and where I went to school. But I think traveling, you know, uh, the people I'm around inspires me a lot. Just everything. Like, obviously, I mentioned before music. Um, yeah, I do a lot of research and I'll research the most random things. But I think it's so important to keep my mind going and stay inspired with especially within my field like it's important that I keep getting fed information that I can use in my work to better my work and you know elevate all the time but I, it's hard because you know I get this question a lot and I don't think there's an exact thing that inspires me like there's so many things to it it's not only like fashion or you know uh, the way people dress or the way, you know, art is dressed, like, it's just like a combination of a lot of things. And it's hard to put into words what, what it exactly is. And I do believe that, you know, a lot of my work is, you know, it's information that I've collected over time. And not just like, you know, oh, I researched this yesterday. And I used to tweet two weeks on like researching something specific. And that's where, you know, this concept came about. No, it's information that I've had since you know yeah I just started paying attention to detail and things and stuff that goes back to you know apparel and footwear yeah if that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense yeah so speaking about your work a little bit more uh -huh. um what can you tell us about like the creative process and what do you kind of look for when you're putting an outfit together um I'm very sensitive and I think, you know, uh, working as a model and working with so many different people and trying on so much different clothes and, you know, uh, proportions and colors and fabrics like made me understand in a very early age what worked for me from my body type and what fabrics went, goes well together, what proportion work with what, you know, if I were large pants or oversized pants like this is the type of tub, tub or you know jacket that goes well with that I think like you know I look at proportion and like tailoring a lot when it comes to apparel and like it's really important to me how pants fall on shoes <laughs> um but yeah I think a combination of like color proportions like tailoring fabric most importantly it's like it's just a big part of the whole process of putting a look together you know and then obviously accessories comes to like sometimes I feel like I can't wear accessories because it'll like translate my outfit in a different way 
And then sometimes like, man, there's something I miss. And then I'll add accessories and I'm like, oh shit, it's complete, you know? <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so are there any pieces that will kind of always be in your styling wardrobe? Are there like a couple of things that you never really go without? Timberland? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um no, obviously Timberland, yes. Uh I think it's uh you know, I appreciate them as a brand and being such an iconic and timeless uh, company and, you know, making boots that really goes with everything. Um, but I love denim. So definitely, like, I have so much denim in my closet and I think it's just something you can always wear, you know. Uh, you can dress up in denim, dress down, be chill, like, and leather too. I love leather and nylon. I mean, it's hard, <laughs> it's hard, you know, but I think my like favorite fabrics is like nylon, leather, and denim. Yeah. It's classic. It's been around always. Like, you know, it's fabrics you can really, uh, create beautiful pieces in. Like, it just worked with a lot of stuff, you know? Yeah, it's a, it's a good selection. <laughs> so with Timberland, what is it about the brand that kind of resonates with you and with your outlook? Well, I think going back again to like how I grew up and what I was inspired by, like, you know, I can mention a few artists that was, you know, wore Timberland, like DMX, for example, he had a crazy Timberland collection of the six inch boot. And, you know, he's a big inspiration. Um, but, you know, the 90s, obviously the way um outfits were put together like the way they wore Tim's like everything uh I think about Timbaland for what they are as a brand and um obviously the six inch boots is such a iconic boot and it's classic and I just love that it's you know it's purposeful um the way it's constructed uh yeah, it's just, it's simple, but it's like, it's so well done. And I just love to think about that when I, when I work stuff that it's like, it could be worn in so many different ways. You know, it's not like, sometimes you'll have things in your closet. You're like, man, it only goes with this or only, I can only worry with that. But with Timbaland, and I think because it's such an old brand and it's such an established brand and it's iconic in so many ways and everyone knows about Timbaland, right? And you see all type of people with all type of different styles were Timbaland. And yeah, and I think that really speaks to me. Like, I love that about it, you know? Um, so it kind of just was so natural and organic for me to work with them. And, you know, it's kind of like was the first brand. I was like, man, this is like somebody I really want to collaborate with. And funny story actually is I DM, <laughs> I DM Timbaland on Instagram and was like, you know, like, man, this got to happen. And so I DM, and obviously I didn't get no reply, but I was like, hey, you know, can I get a contact to someone, you know, at um, whatever, who's in charge of collaborations? And I didn't hear nothing. And I told my friend Maddie, I was like, man, I did DM them, but, you know, there's nothing. <laughs> and then, funny enough, like a few months later, like a guy I didn't even know, he was like, hey, I know someone from Timbaland who really want to get in contact with you. Whoa. And I was like, wait, what the you know how is this you know how is this happening now and it was just like perfect timing or I don't know it was perfect I was pregnant but um <laughs> it was uh I think it happened in the right time but it's so crazy right how that happened like you, you think it. about you... something and you appreciate something so much like I've collected the six inch boot for you know for a very long time and I've been researching and finding stuff on eBay. Like I've really gone deep, you know, to just find like, I want to find pairs that nobody has. And I <laughs> did too. <laughs> um, so that was, it's very like fulfilling and like satisfying. Um, yeah. Like a real full circle moment. Yeah. Yeah. So for this collaboration specifically, uh -huh. how do you think that your kind of history as a stylist um, helped to kind of inform the design process? 
Um, so definitely my time at Yeezy, I learned a lot about, you know, fabrics and design. Like I had, before I started there, I had no idea. I just know what I like, you know, like basically. So working there, working with different designers and amazing talent, uh, learning about materials and fabrics and how like stuff, you know, footwear and apparel is constructed, um, so I definitely gained a lot of knowledge and, you know, I think my time at Yeezy definitely made the, my time with Timbaland, uh, like it was very natural and, you know, it was great because I really knew what I wanted to do, like from the get go, like I really had a vision. Um, and I think without the information I have gained at Yeezy about knowing about like, you know, footwear and apparel and like literally how it's all constructed 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 and about fabrics and stuff like it probably would have been a, a bit more uh, challenging for me to express um the vision so um yeah it was like school definitely so I think that has really like you know taught me a lot of things and been able to uh put into words of like this whole collection, I would say, you know, because one thing is being visual and I, I was struggled for a long time to, uh, to kind of express what was going on in my head. I felt like the way I was doing it was through images or like, it was hard for me to put into words of what exactly I had in mind. Um, so that's something I also learned there, you know, but I think once you have knowledge about certain things, you also feel more confident talking about stuff, you know, and it's more, it's, everything is just more direct. I guess as a stylist as well, you have that experience of like how things fit on people's bodies 100%. and how it works. Yeah. And you get to work with so many different, you know, I was so lucky that, you know, I work with a lot of models, but I also work with Kim and, you know, it was just working with her made me realize that you know, I could really style anybody, no matter what body type, you know, and it's just I mean, made me really happy and like proud, you know, because knowing that as a stylist is just, you know, yeah, it's just like very fulfilling, you know, that you're not limited to one thing that you can express yourself in different ways. So my final question, yes. um, I feel like I already know the answer to this, uh -huh. but out of everything in the collaboration, uh -huh. which is your favorite piece? Oh my God. Uh, it's really tough. Um, I don't know if I can answer that question. Interesting. It's, yeah. I thought I already knew what you were uh, going to really? say. But no, I think the whole collection is so close to my heart and every piece is so special from the apparel to the footwear. Um, you know, putting my, I mean, footwear, I was like, man, I made my own boo. Like, how crazy <laughs> is that, you know? But also being uh, love and clothes, it's like making something that, you know, I really wanted to make something that I couldn't find nowhere. And, you know, I would say with every single piece, I don't really owe. So, I don't know. It's It's all... I'm sorry. I don't think I can answer that. <laughs> it's all amazing. Like, I love it all equally. Yeah, I really I mean, do. for what it's worth, I agree. I thought it was going to be the six-inch boot, but... Really? No, I mean, yeah. E um, <laughs> yeah, it's fucking fly. Sorry. Yeah, it's really... <laughs> it's so... Yeah, I'm I'm really proud. And I. it's such an accomplishment. And I'm so grateful. Yeah. It is amazing. Um, yes. And just so everyone in the audience knows, you can actually purchase them today from end after yes. this. Um, but that was all the questions that we had today. So thank you, everyone, for listening. Thank and for you coming. so much. Thank you. <laughs>